All right, everybody, welcome to another first look here on the Stadia Cast podcast channel. My name is Lloyd Hennison from the Stadia Cast podcast. If you're not familiar with me, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Dasme, D A S M E. Stadia Cast is your weekly Stadia news show here on youtube.com slash Stadia Cast. Uh, we record each and every Sunday. Uh, you can follow the podcast in video form or audio form. If you listen to audio, just do a search for Stadia Cast in whatever your podcatcher of choice is. Today, I'm taking a look at Wave Break. Uh, the game is out on the 23rd. This first look is up on the 23rd. And uh, if you've ever wanted to skate boat, uh, this is a game for you. So I thought we would jump in. Uh, we would take a peek at the game. We would go through 15, 20 minutes of gameplay, uh, kind of figure out where the game is going to take us and uh, go from there. So um, this isn't quite a first look because I've played a little bit of this already. I've uh, been noodling around trying to trying to figure it out. Um, this game is described a lot like um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. So you're doing button inputs and hitting buttons. Uh, so directional inputs and buttons to do the different tricks and things. You can uh, string together a bunch of tricks. Um, I I'm not very good and I'm like, oh my God, I'm just trash. Have I not played Tony Hawk in that long? And it actually looks like there is a huge uh, upgrade um, thing that you can do with your boat. So it's like, oh, okay, so maybe Maybe I'm not um, I'm not quite trash. Uh, it's just that I haven't upgraded my boat enough, or I guess my character enough. So you can do things like uh, speed and grinds and lip tricks and spin and hang and ability and toughness and all this stuff. And it's just like, okay, that makes sense. Why I can't even get like three thousand points in one uh, in in one game before I die repeatedly. So anyway, uh, let's jump in. We're gonna go into the campaign mode. Uh, take a look at the single player campaign. Uh, I've done a couple of the things, uh, not as many as I would like to uh, have done. Um, there, this is definitely a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, but you can see on left side is the objectives, on the right side is the rewards. Very Tony Hawk Pro Skater esque. Uh, if you've ever played a Tony Hawk Pro Skater, um, so let's jump in. Let's uh, let's play a couple games. And kind of see where it goes. Um, and then we'll see if we can do a local multiplayer against bots. And just that this is a pre-release uh, video, uh, there's not a lot of people in uh, multiplayer because, well, the game's not out yet. So, um, yeah. Uh, one thing that I've done, I'm going to turn it down a little bit, is I've uh, turned on the auto drive. So there's an option where your boat will always uh, be accelerating. Uh, I found, to me... That seems to be something that is making uh, things a little bit easier for me to do. As you can see, uh, I'm not I'm not very good. Uh, that was weird. And so there's things all over uh, that you can trick on. So you can do nice little grinds. Oh, that was supposed to be another grind. Uh, so you can do jumps and grinds and turns and flips and all those things. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, nice. I was able to time that properly. Okay, why did I... I don't know why I uh, basically exploded there. So let's grab our ship back. Uh, let's do a... Uh, I can't get out of my way. Hey, I can't move. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, how did I miss that? Um, so, uh, very much like Tony Hawk Pro Skater, there are various secrets... Uh, in quotes, secrets, uh, parts of levels. Um, so uh, you have to you have to figure that out as well. Oh, why is that not working? I'm trying to uh, grind this because there's a there's a challenge for that, but I'm not able to land it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we did it. We did it. I think I think I finally did it. I think. <laughs> so let's uh let's go here. Oh my gosh. Why am I why am I so bad right now? So one thing that I was um um trying to do is score high so I could upgrade my my boat. 
Uh, and then I found out that when you're playing the local multiplayer, um, the local deathmatch, uh, you actually get some money um, for even just playing against bots. So it's like, oh, okay, okay, I get it. Um, so you can see the, the music is fantastic and it's very much a vaporwave kind of aesthetic. It's uh, people, if you've been following my content for years, uh, you know that I love this style. Um, so this, this is good. So yeah, so it's a grind around the lobby pool, which I did. And I didn't get, I didn't get uh, any sort of credit for that. Really interesting. So let's do a replay. We'll jump into it. Um, so yeah, the, I mean, I, I love the, I love the visuals. I love the, the graphics, uh, the audio, the, um, just the, the world, the, the water physics. It's all really, really cool. So I'm really digging this. Um, I, I just have to figure out that, uh, I'm trash and I have to work on, uh, figuring out how to do this a little better. Wow. Did I, how did I... I'm trying to figure out because I, I know in Tony Hawk, if you double tapped up when you're going up a, a ramp, you would you would jump over the ramp. And that's what I'm trying to do. And that didn't work. <laughs> oh, that was just wonderful. No, no, don't go off. Oh, why does it turn me that way? Didn't want to do that either. So I mean, um, your experience with this game will differ based on how much uh, Tony Hawk you've played. Uh, we'll say. I have to find all five juicy hot dogs. So um, this game, I, I believe, is rated M. Which uh, maybe doesn't seem like something that you would predict, right? Um, but uh, some of the uh, some of the missions they do get a little rude, so maybe that's uh, th that's the reason. Um, but yeah, not something that I anticipated when uh, I was watching some of the pre-release stuff for uh, for this game. Maybe this is the lobby pool. Like maybe I, this is what I have to grind. I don't think so, because they they showed a, a video when you're uh, starting the the level, kind of all of the, uh, the the different tasks you're gonna have to do, and that was not one of them. All right, so let's do one more. Uh, let's go to some different areas of uh, of of the world. I'm not gonna try to do that stupid lobby pool thing, because um, apparently I just can't do it. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, the controls are directional pad or the analog sticks, depending on what you want to use. Then there's A to jump. Um, there's Y to do your um, kind of link multiple tricks, uh, but that's also grinding. Um, and then there's different holding uh, moves that you can do. Um, different like grip move kind of things. Um, with the uh, with the X button, the heel flips and, and holds and grabs and things like that. I don't know why I just stopped there. All right, that was that was a decent trick. I lied. Okay, I didn't want to do that. No, no, go up. <laughs> um, the reason why there's food around... Oh, jeez, really? Uh, is um, when you take damage, you can eat the food to get health. Um, th that's like the turkeys, not the, the juicy hot dogs. <laughs> oh, 
Whoa, what the hell happened there? That was weird. try to just keep doing my uh, grabs and uh, flip kicks and things to get my 10,000 points. See, I was almost there. So when I tro stop trying to find all of the letters uh, and start just doing tricks, all of a sudden I'm getting points. So let's do, let's do one more. I know I said that already. We'll do one more and then we'll jump into the uh, multiplayer, <clears throat> local multiplayer against bots. So, uh, so yeah, since, uh, since I saw this game shown off on, uh, a bunch of videos and things that Google have, uh, had posted, um, I've been super excited for this game. Um, so, it's, uh, currently, currently, uh, a game that I... I like looking at uh, more than uh, my skill is allowing me to play, <laughs> but uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to learn this one and the multiplayer is is really different so whoa double heel flip that was nice. Oh, that was almost nothing. I'm almost there. Almost there. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been loving, loving lo looking at it, uh, and uh, the playing it is a lot harder than I thought it would be by watching the the developer streams. They uh, they definitely had me uh, had me convinced that I'd be jumping in Tony Hawk style and just uh, just rocking it. Sadly, that is not the case. Oh, I'm so close. Wow, I'm stuck. Come on, 20 seconds. Let's do it. Oh no, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna fail. I'm so close. No, that would have done it. Guaranteed that would have done it. Oh my gosh. Oh, so close. So close. So close. All right. Uh, enough of that for right now. So I'm gonna exit game. Or right, no, I'm gonna ex not gonna exit game. If you hit exit game, it actually closes down Stadia. So I'm gonna go back to the main menu. <laughs> I learned the hard way. Don't don't click exit game unless you want to exit the game. All right. So let's go play. Let's go to custom game. We're gonna go deathmatch. Uh, the nice thing is there's free play if you just want to run around. Um, you can choose kind of like your time uh, or how many people are, are skating around, skateboating around. Uh, you can do a time attack. So you get two minutes to do the most amount of points and kill the most amount of people. Uh, and then there's deathmatch. So let's uh, let's jump into deathmatch. Uh, I'm going to go in the first level because I don't want to spoil any of the other levels. Make sure you don't email hello at funktroniclabs.com. Don't do it. Definitely don't do it. All right, and so uh, when you play Deathmatch, uh, you actually have a gun. And you can shoot people in the face. Oh. 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 Why didn't I pick up the shotgun? Oh, I don't have enough money. Didn't realize that this was uh, a money-related thing. Um, so when you kill people, they drop uh, they drop some coinage, and you can see uh, where my score was before. It's now money uh, that I can use to buy things. So I'm gonna hunt down someone else and uh, shoot them. I'm currently in the lead for kills.
Uh, I've gotten like special drops before. I've gotten like rocket launchers. Uh, there, there is a lot of options here. Hey, where's everybody? Get back over here. Stop going inside. I don't want to go inside. Again. Pick up some of this cash. Alright, let's go find uh let's go find a big gun. There was that uh, machine gun. That's a shotgun. I don't want another shotgun. I wanna try I wanna try the machine gun. I've never I've never used this one. Okay, so we got the machine gun now. Which gives me a pile of ammo. Oh there's a bunch of people in here still. Double kill. I need like the uh, Mortal Kombat announcer uh, to come over here, and uh, or the the Halo announcer would be nice too. The Halo Deathmatch announcer. Okay, how come that one didn't count? I killed them. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, so here is a, a hidden drop, or a random drop, rather. That gave me a hundred thousand uh, dollars to go buy weapons. Uh, here's another another random drop, or another secret drop, I guess. That's that's another big money one. I don't really care about the money right now. Okay, let's, uh, let's go find someone. We have 49 seconds. Alright. I wasn't going to shoot at you yet, but... Oh, he killed me. From inside? I guess he did the last bit of damage to me. That's probably what happened there. Alright, so let's... Uh... I find that the, um, the sensitivity for grinding is just so high it makes it so hard to grind I played a lot of Tony Hawk and I don't remember it being that difficult oh CPU 1 killed me twice now I have seven seven kills but uh oh <laughs> the big hole in the wall all right, so I got 110 gold or 110 dollars for um, for beating that level. Um, so let's do it again. Let's see if that's what I get every single time, and then we'll we'll up upgrade some of my stats a little bit, uh, and then maybe that'll be it. So what I'm really looking forward to is playing this online against a lot of other streamers, uh, other players, other community members. Um, not not that this is not fun, because because it is, but. Uh, But uh, I want uh, I want a bigger challenge, and I want to unlock all the things. I didn't realize that the guy was still there. He oofed. His oof is my game. All right, let's see. They're inside again. Oh, come on now. They know that I have problems going inside is what it is, I think. Where am I get, where did I get shot from? Oh, the guy was there. I thought it was from inside again. Why am I not hitting him? Well, that would explain it. Give me that money, that money, the money. Okay, I really want 
to get out of here. I'll grab the Uzi. Like in the Uzi. I'll grab this machine gun. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> oh, and it took me out the wrong way. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Seriously? I blew up a barrel. And then I get started out in the middle of nowhere. They're playing around inside this area again. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't have a weapon right now. Oh, that's great timing. issues with the camera here for some strange reason. No, not, not where I wanted to grind. Come on. Oh. I'm gonna run out. And yeah, we'll do it that way. CPU 3. Okay, I've gotten 11 kills, so let's see if I get more money this time. I got 110 last time. Let's see what I get. 120. <laughs> okay, a little bit more. Alright, so let's go back to the main menu. And uh, we'll see, uh, see what I can... Go into shops, go into gym, see what I can upgrade. Alright, so jump. Jump is good, but I need 2,000 to get more jump. A little bit more speed would be nice. Faster turn would be nice as well. Automatics? Don't know what that is. Is that like... I have no idea. Grinds, lip tricks, spin, hang, ability, toughness. Do grinds make it easier to grind? We'll do lip tricks. I think that's all I can upgrade right now. Okay. So we'll go back. Um, the other shops, you can go to boats. And uh, you can change change to a kayak. You can add oars. Uh, decals or decals if you're in the US. Um, you can add a bunch, bunch of stuff uh, to your boat. And this seems to change all the time. Or not all the time, but I've seen different things before. Um, and then you can also add clothing. So if you want to have a little top hat, or a beanie, or a hat, or a tie. Because nothing better than a bear with a tie. Um, and it'll also show you that this is available only for the bear. The necktie is only for the bear. Uh, but the shirt can go on all four of the playable characters. Stuff like that. So um, there's a lot of different customization options. Alright, so I upgraded a bunch of stuff on my boat, gave myself lip tricks and better grind. Uh, let's see if I can uh, can get that 10,000 uh, point mark. So we'll do one more and then we'll call it, call it a quit for today. Uh, but as you can see, there's lots in this game. Um, the multiplayer, it would, I, w I wish the multiplayer servers were active. Right? I think that, I guess the servers are active, um, but just with a lot of people. Because uh, I'd love to show off some of the multiplayer stuff here as well. All right, so let's uh, let's try some some tricks. 
Oh, wow. Okay, I can definitely grind a little longer without so many problems. But let's just do, uh, let's just do normal. Okay, it's hard doing kickflips off the ground. I need to get these tricks going because I'm not uh, not doing so hot. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, what the heck? I don't even know what happened there. I bounced off the building. Ten thousand points. Yeah, did not quite do it. So anyway, uh, you can see that there's going to be a lot of back and forth between um, playing levels, collecting break, finding all the cash, getting a pro score. I have no idea how you're going to get 75,000 points. I mean, I can remember having that exact same feeling with Tony Hawk Pro Skater. It's like, how the heck am I going to get 100,000 points? It's going to be impossible. Then you start upgrading your your character and it's just like, oh, okay, I'm doing I'm doing full combos that are 100,000 points. I think it's going to be the same thing with this game. I'm going to have to learn how to link a little bit better, how to do all all of the uh, all of the tricks um, and figure out other tricks that I can do that are maybe higher higher points. I'm doing a lot of the same tricks and if it's like Tony Hawk, you get less points the more you do the same tricks. So you can't just sit there and do ollie after ollie after ollie and get your score. You have to keep mixing things up. So I'm fairly certain that this game is exactly the same. So it's just going to be a bit of a learning curve. And of course, playing a lot of multiplayer, getting a lot of money that way, upgrading all of your characters and boats and, and all that stuff, uh, it'll probably be a heck of a lot easier if you're doing it through um, through multiplayer stuff. So anyway, that's going to about do it for me. My name is Lloyd Hannison from the CityCast podcast. You can follow me on Twitter at Dazme. Let us know what you think of, uh, of this game if you're interested in uh in playing some uh skate boating uh because it's not a game for, uh, it's not a it's not a genre of games that i ever thought i would say that i was playing uh but uh wave break is uh is pretty pretty darn awesome uh if only for the style like look at this look how cool and and synth wave and vapor wave this is uh absolutely absolutely love the look and feel and the music um i have stream safe music turned on so the music is more instrumental uh, but if you turn that off and you're playing the game single player and you're not streaming there's a bunch of really cool tracks uh in here that i'm going to figure out the names of and, and look up some of the bands uh just a, a really really fun title here on google stadia so uh, if you'd like to see more content uh, of wave break if you'd like to see some more streams some multiplayer stuff uh, or you want to join the community to get into some multiplayer stuff, join our community Discord over at runjumpstomp.com slash Discord. I'm sure once this game hits, it's going to be a popular one for multiplayer nights. Uh, and if you want to join in, uh, join the Discord and uh, go to the Looking for Group uh, um, channel and uh, find some other people to play with. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from uh, Steadycast Podcast and Res TV. Um, that's going to do it for this video and, um, yeah, we'll talk to you next time, folks. Have a good one.